Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's Tuesday. I think I pulled it a little bit. I am going to try to do something that I've never done before. Did I ever think I'd get to this point in YouTube? Yeah. Oh, I hear here now? Yeah. Is that adding perfume to your clothes? But it's like your clothes perfume. So I really like it. Poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Look at my turn now! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The brownie's out. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's Tuesday, and um, today's looking like a busy one, I'm not gonna lie. At least for the first part in the morning. I feel like I'm running late, so I'm a little bit stressed. I just wanted to start the vlog and say hi. Good morning. I hope you guys are okay you're doing well um i need to film today's how to tuesday's video it's supposed to be a brow video and i just like did my brows that's why they're so red right now i'm waiting for the pinkiness to go down but i need to edit yesterday's vlog like asap i can't snap with my um left hand my nose is so itchy for some reason i've done my skincare put my spf everywhere like everywhere that's exposed and that is just like this top part um <laughs> But yeah, we've done that. I'm gonna make myself like some tea and drink a bunch of water. I woke up so thirsty and I have no idea why. Um, I didn't drink as much water yesterday, but I did drink like a lot of tea, juice, and I did drink like, I think I did drink enough water. I think I'm just dehydrated maybe because of the night or because of the shower yesterday, I don't know. Um, the other day I felt like when I was taking my shirt off or was it a shirt or sweatshirt? I don't know what it was. I was taking something off and it tugged on the earring, so now my ear is sore and it hurts. I think I pulled it a little bit, so I don't know if I did that. So right now I'm just putting like, kind of saline disinfecting solution thing that I used on my ear before when I put first, when I first put this piercing on because like the barrel is actually thicker than the ones that I've used and put inside my ear like as a piercing, so I kind of like made it a little bit bigger so it was open for a little bit, so I kept on like, you know, cleaning it. Um, and then it was fine. Then I did this thing. I'm telling you, sometimes these things are a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, but it looks nice, so whatever. But yeah, um, so I just put that in a little, put a little bit of tea tree oil just in case. And I'm going to do that for the next couple of days because I'm just worried it might get infected. So there's that little update <laughs> for you. It like hurts to the touch. It's like a little bit, well not hurts, but it's sore. And I'm just here like... Like, I don't know if you can see, maybe you can't, to be honest, like, it's not red or pink or swollen, it doesn't look infected either, it's not bleeding, it's just sore, because I kind of pulled it, so I'm just still, like, you know, disinfecting it, just in case. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's my little run to the morning. Um, I just played my happy morning playlist, try to get in the mood, that's actually what woke me up, because I have it, like, scheduled on the Alexa, like, at 7.05. I um, have that playlist scheduled, so just in case I don't hear my alarm or I snooze it, I actually get up because music definitely like wakes me up. So, good morning. I'm going to go edit, have some tea, and yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say aside from I'll catch you in a little bit. I finally finished editing the video that I was editing. I am, I'm just, I'm over that vlog because I was struggling so much to edit some parts and I just, I don't even know what to say for myself. <laughs> I still haven't gotten ready because I need to film today's video, which I still haven't done, which is like, and it's bothering me because I also, like I finished doing that. I also took a nap. I waited for a food shop to arrive, which I actually need to put away, but What's going on with my hair? I've got like, you know, food and stuff. <laughs> Duh. I am going to try to do something that I've never done before, and that is hollandaise sauce. They don't sell any here that I could just like, you know, pour over my eggs, you know? So, sadly, I'm going to have to, well not sadly, I'm actually glad I'm learning how to do that. Um, there's a chance this might go very, 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 really, very, really, very, very wrong. I don't know how this is going to go. That rhymed. But, I'm going to try. I'm gonna try to do that. Um, I'm just gonna have cream, a cream cheese bagel with smoked salmon on top, a poached egg, and hollandaise sauce. And I've bought um, chives, like fresh chives, to put on it. I feel like it's gonna look very nice if this works out well, if I do the sauce well. So fingers crossed, 
and this turns out okay because it's the first time I've ever done it I don't know how to like I don't really do sauces so I've never really done any really like only maybe for like pasta or something like that but not like for eggs or, or anything like that really so <laughs> let me put the food shop away and um, get all the ingredients out cook me breakfast and then I'll be back to do the hollandaise sauce with ya because yeah I'm starving I have not eaten and I feel faint so yeah that was really bad of me but I'm gonna do that my arm is killing me so I'm gonna put you down I thought I would just show you really quickly I mean if you're interested probably don't care but I I kind of find these things interesting like you know the more mundane stuff um, I'm just gonna show you how I kind of do my laundry. <laughs> it's so weird that I'm doing this. Did I ever think I'd get to this point in YouTube? No. Am I here now? Yeah. Am I gonna do something about it? Yes. I'm gonna show you exactly how I wash my underwear. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just gonna show you how to wash my laundry. You know? <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> what I use is a bunch of like fragrant stuff. Now, I wish I was at that point in my life where I could get sponsored with stuff because I really like these things. Um, uh, fragrant stuff. So this is the fabric softener that I use. To be honest, I prefer the baby ones, the white ones, the ones that don't really have a scent except like cotton. So these bad boys could do their work. Um, they're like fragrance intensifiers. They're by Downy. You can also find them in the UK. You can find them here. Pretty global. I like that. I like that. So without shaking my maraca any further. <laughs> Um, I have the uh, Downy Unstoppables, um, what are they? <laughs> this is a premium scent booster with fabric conditioner. So it's kind of, it has a little bit of a fabric softener as well, um, but I really like the smell. And then these little beads are also, um, they're an in-wash scent booster. So you put these on, well not on, you put this in the washing machine, down there, this is the dryer. Okay. Um, I put these in there and then I put this with the detergent um, and then I put the fabric softener. So that's, that's all I do. I'm like, ouch, do that without falling over. You know? Let's be awkward with the Okay, so. Oh, and the um, detergent that I use, I usually just like the blue ones, the plain ones, the ones that like, you know, you, 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 you think of detergent smell and you think of like the, the blue detergent ones. So. The one that I use here in Mexico is called Mas Color or something like that. To be honest, I really like Ariel. So in the UK, if I got lazy, I would just buy the Ariel pods. But I really do like these. Um, of course, it gets a little bit more expensive, but it just—it's just that nice, like you know, fresh feeling. Especially if something like I don't know, if you have dogs, you have cats, you're constantly around them. You don't want to smell like animal, you know. So I, I think these really help you. Okay. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> One is a little bit. I don't know why I squeeze that, but it's cool. Okay. I love the smell of clothes. A few maracas in here. It's like adding perfume to your clothes, but it's like your clothes perfume. So I really like these. Oh right, the poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison chosen specially to kill Cusco, Cusco's poison. Oh, and by the way, the scent, this is fresh, the blue bottle, and this is the Lush with the purple cap, you saw the colors and you can definitely see, but this is Lush and this is fresh. Okay, that, and then our magical clothes. All of the things he's in. <laughs> I don't know why I'm speaking like that. I tend to speak with accents. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> you know that that's in. Let us begin. Okay, so, just a little bit of this one too. You know, without spilling it everywhere. I like to put a little bit of both. Um, so I just save on them. And because I have both of them, it makes a nice mix. And I also have the fabric softener, so yeah the actual fabric softener. I couldn't find the baby clear one, the, not the clear one, the um, white one. The one that, you know, everywhere in the world has the same scent, you know, the baby smell. That's the one I like, but I couldn't find it right now, so this is the temporary quarantine situation. I'm gonna get killed in here, and I don't even know how. 
but cool. I just hope this isn't really boring for you because <laughs> I like these things. They're super, okay, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Not that tight, anyway. <laughs> you know. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, I hope this isn't really boring. <laughs> oh my god. You know when um, Jim Carrey looked up? <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> sometimes sound like that. Um, my facial expressions are a bit weird sometimes, so excuse that. Well, no, no, excuse it. Love it. I, I. My point was, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. My point was that I hope it doesn't bore you because I actually find this really interesting. What people use, the. If I, I don't. I don't think I'm the only one. There are people that like, you know, like watching me sing. Okay, so I don't know if I'm the only one that likes that kind of stuff, but I do get really curious as to what they use, what products people use, because, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh my god, that window is so clean, I wonder what window cleaner they use, and then you want to kind of go buy it. So, I don't know if that's just me being really, like, easily bored, <laughs> and, like, anyone could sell anything to me. Possibly, I don't know. I'm a bit skeptical, but with people I generally like watching and trust, or, like, on their judgement and what they use, I do like basically trust everything that they buy and go try it for myself. If I don't like it, then I won't like it, but I cannot trust their judgment. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to shut up about this and do my breakfast because I still haven't done it. Um, I thought I should just show you that because, I don't know, it interests me. Yeah. <coughs> this, is, this is just another milestone for us in YouTube, you know, showing you what soap say is. Okay, this is what <clears throat> okay, this is what it's looking like. One turned out fine, the other one not so much, but that's because I put it on and then I tried to move it and I poached it accidentally. I was an idiot, it's fine. I'll eat it anyway, obviously. And then there's my attempt of the hollandaise sauce. I hope it's okay. Um, I don't know, I gotta taste it. I'm gonna spoon it out and put it in here. Um, I hope it tastes good. It's taken me ages. It's taken me ages, especially because I um, watched two videos on how to properly like do another method of poaching eggs and you know, I'm trying to learn. So it's an attempt. I'm not saying it's going to be successful. It's the first time. If I practice, I'll probably get it. No, no, no. I will get it after practice. So yeah, um, I'm going to just pour that and hopefully I'll have like an okay looking breakfast. <laughs> okay, here goes. My food's here. I've chopped up some chives right there. I just hope. I thought I would need this. I don't need this. Mm. Okay. Here goes nothing. I reckon y'all want to kiss? Kissing would be nice, yes? That's nice. It looks nice. I don't have crest, but I would add crest and then just a hint. Oh, 
puffer. Oh my god, you guys! Look how it turned out! I mean, it doesn't look the greatest. I can improve it a lot more. Like, I, I know how to improve it. But that's how it's... Oops. But that's what it's looking like. I'm pretty proud of myself, you know? It looks alright. Now all I gotta do is taste it and make sure it tastes okay. Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be a bit upset, but... It's okay, I worked hard. I'll eat it. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour myself some mango juice. You know, my fave. And go to the kitchen, because I can't handle everything at the same time. Go to the kitchen? Go to the living room, go to the sofa. Because I can't carry- I've made a mess in the kitchen, but next time I know how to organize myself better. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my small attempt. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I just saw a hummingbird. It was about to come into the house, but it was like... I mean, I realized it was a house, but still, like... That's supposed to be a sign of good luck, isn't it? Like a good sign? Oh no, I wish I had the camera on so you could have seen it. It was literally right here. Well, like on the outside of the glass, but it was about to come in and then it went flying that way, so... But I, I had a taste test. I had a taste test with my mom. Well, not with my mom, but like my mom on video call. And it tastes good. I'm really happy with it. I poached it. I'm just gonna enjoy this as much as I can. I think the sauce is actually on point. I'm very happy about it. The, the egg could be better and the presentation could be better. I'll improve it next time. I'll get better bread, like freshly baked bread. And figure out how to put the salmon on the thing properly and just make this whole thing. Because I love presentation on breakfast. Like that's, that's like amazing. I love it. So I'm very happy with them. I am I'm really proud of myself. I accomplished something today. I did something new today. The light is very blue all of a sudden. I don't know why. But I'm going to watch a YouTube video or something. And just enjoy this because this is divine. Divine. Pretty sure there's like a video or something that says divine and that's why I always say it. I don't know where I got it from, but I got it from somewhere. I didn't just start saying it. <laughs> I finished my breakfast and I'm actually freezing by the way because, you know, I start digesting immediately. And I get really, really cold and I have kind of like bad circulation. My body gets really, really hot. My hands and my feet and like my nose, like everything that's on the outside of my body that doesn't really, according to my body, my, the, the, the rest of like, you know, the outer limbs does not need heat or blood or warmth or anything. So yeah, I get really cold when I start digesting and I'm freezing. But what I was trying to say is I'm going to have an ice lele. It's the one I had on Friday. It's Friday it's Sunday, it's Sunday. I don't know the name of the lyrics of the thing. I should press the shake right now. Yeah. Oh my god, does anyone remember that vine? Oh my god! I still haven't found my berries, but I found these. <laughs> I love that thing. Okay, so I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house board. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house board. As as you do. And I I just feel like playing with So we're not gonna say the name. I'm gonna switch it to Spanish because I saw something that apparently you can do but I don't believe it. I'm gonna switch it to English and Spanish, the US one. I have it in the UK English version. Okay, I switched the language. And it sounds so weird when it's in American English. I don't know if it sounds so weird. Listen to it. Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.35 p.m. Oh, I'm cringing. I don't... It's weird. Okay, now in Spanish. Alexa, ¿qué hora es? Son las 7.35. Okay, I'm going to ask the weird thing question that I saw on TikTok right now. I don't even know if it's actually going to work. Alexa, ¿cuál es tu color favorito? El coral es mi favorito. No solo es bonito, sino que es el color pantone del año. <laughs> Alexa, ¿cuántos años tienes? En años humanos tengo cinco. Si hablamos de años de perro o gato, entonces ya estoy en mis cuarenta. Aunque creo que los años de inteligencia artificial se miden en nanosegundos, así que tendría... Bueno... Digamos que sería mucho, mucho mayor que tú. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Um, I'm just finding all this stuff out. I'm a bit confused. So, I am confusion. So I am confusion. Alexa, why am I single? I love you, bitch. <laughs> Damn right, sis. Damn fucking right. No, it's probably because I'm talking to my Alexa alone in this room. Alexa, I love you. That's really nice. Thanks. <laughs> you didn't say I love you back. This is why I'm single. <laughs> I'm actually just having fun, you know? This is the type of bullshit I get up to. I'm clearly going crazy. Am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. This, this is what happens when you've been quarantined so long and there's not a lot of people you talk to aside from video call and you're just there looking at the books and Alexa. This is the most conversation I've had in a long time. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Alexa. I've got 99 problems. As many questions that I never actually attempted to do it and it's gotten to that point in quarantine where I finally said you know what I'm gonna do it and I'm doing it Alexa do you know Siri <laughs> Alexa drop a beat Really cool. <laughs> Alexa, I am your father. No, that's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Alexa, she has she has a new spot here. We want to see her. We we, we want to see her. Alexa, rap for me. Didn't hear me. Alexa. Oh. Got my mind on a number, lucky number of mine. 3.14159. My day is pi day, diameter, circumference, infinite, irrational, without an encumbrance. Going round in circles, a revolving door. Feeling transcendental over 3.14. I'll take a slice of that never ending pie, a never ending slice. Oh me, oh my. I can't even fucking rap. This bitch can rap. That's it for right now, you guys. I've been doing this for time. Oh my god. We're gonna make brownies now. Today, 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 today. Calls for that day. I forgot to turn on the camera. I'm basically just measuring out all the ingredients. I've measured out. I got this um, recipe. It's the brownies I showed on the, the other day on the vlog. And it was from Zoe, Zoella, you must know her, she's huge. Um, and there, it's on, the recipe's on her website. So, um, I'm just measuring out the dry ingredients. It says you need 140 grams of plain flour, I've measured that. And I've measured 20 grams of cocoa powder, which I used Nesquik. Because I just... I, I tried to have it as a hot chocolate, but it's way too sweet. Like, it's good for like a milkshake type of thing, or brownies or something, because it's really sweet, but it's way too sickly for a hot chocolate. I like more of a rich, not of like a sweet sugary. It's like more, yeah, I know I'm a child. I buy these things. So I use that. I'm sorry I'm this angle, and I did change because I threw everything into the wash, which is what you're hearing right now, great. Now I'm going to measure out 200 grams of caster sugar. I really have it. This is a very awkward place and a very awkward angle. This thing turns off quickly, the scale on my off screen. So 200 grams of caster sugar. Oh, missed it by two grams. Perfect. 
200 grams of dark chocolate, so 90 and 90. I'll measure this out. I don't need this. This is mine. Cool. Right, um, 200 grams of dark chocolate. Oh, we need one teaspoon. The teaspoon is... Okay. One teaspoon. That's a bit more packed than I would like it. There you go. I didn't sieve any of this. This is lazy brownie making. I don't want to be, to be professional. I just want to make brownies. Cool. Okay, um, we've got that. Now, look, what they don't tell you is to add a little pinch of salt, which is what I'm going to do because adding a bit of salt to the mixture, which is just like a leftover from the morning, is going to give it that boost. Oomph, now, to mash up the deer cacao. I knew I was going to use this one day. Grab a spatula and either buy the wooden part or the hard. This has to be a hard spatula though. I'm gonna hit it, so don't mind me. Don't mind me. so good. The reason I um, smash it with the spatula is because it's easier to melt afterwards and I don't like breaking it up with my fingers. Like I said, easy brownies. Okay. Three grams of chocolate. It's 60, so one thing is okay. We're done with you, sir. You can, you can be excused. And now for the next one, that's 60 grams. I'm going to remember that's 60 grams. More banging. And then hopefully we can, you know, add some Hershey's chocolate. Still need 30 grams, I'm 30 grams short. Luckily, I already have chocolate in here because I don't know what I'm going to be making this recipe, but luckily I had everything. I'm going to put everything that I'm not using away. Right, okay, so now I'm going to boil the water that's right here so I can start melting the chocolate. Okay, oven is preheating. So we need 2.8 of oil, but I don't have oil. I usually just use butter. Okay, so it's just 80 grams the same. Okay, we need a big chunk. Oh, it's gonna say to whip the caster sugar with the fuck. She does not be sufficient water because the sugar will never have another key. What's the strongest necessary? Okay. Okay, I didn't need to do that then. Eh, five grams over, so what? Uh oh. How do I do this now? Did not think this through. There, I kind of did that. Okay, if I could open this, it'd be great. That'd be great. Perfected. Okay, I finished reading the recipe. 
So essentially all I gotta do is, I'm not gonna trim this one because it's gonna be a disaster, but mixing the cocoa powder with the thing he just like this by hand, kind of lovely. Now before I create a catastrophe with my hot scale, I'm gonna place this here, so I start smelting, and move the scale away from here. Come back, come back. This is not pretty much done. Push on our stern. So now I'm just gonna pour in the milk. Moving the chocolate a little bit. This is a lot of chocolate, you know. I'm gonna put this on a little bit of a higher heat because the water is not hot enough. And then the butter is gonna go in. This recipe is vegan. I'll link it in the description box if you wanna check it out. Um, if you haven't seen it, but it looks really good. It has chocolate biscuits and Oreos. So, you know, why the fuck not? Can't do this. Can't do this. I need help. I need help, people. Moving the chocolate a little bit more. It's a bomb, Mori. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this slowly, but this could come out a fucking disaster and go everywhere, but let's try not to not think positively. dark chocolate like 90% chocolate and then I used because I was missing chocolate I just put some milk chocolate in it I think it's gonna even it out especially with the Nesquik thing in Mexico we got a Nesquik <laughs> not Nesquik have you seen that TikTok that's like it's not Disney it's Disney it's not McDonald's it's McDonald's <laughs> just like, bitch and let me correct you with your swimming it's not quesadilla it's quesadilla. So yeah, that's my wrap of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Continues melting the chocolate. Three hours later. It's almost done. There's still some hard bits. Okay, I think the chocolate's done and melted. This doesn't have any eggs in it, I just realized. Huh. Wow. Okay. This is very easy. Nice. Thank God, because I've had a lot of eggs today. This is done. I'm just going to pour it into the mixture and then... It's a bit difficult. But... Oh, my wrists are so weak. Ooh. Jesus. Now, mix, mix, mix. Delicious. Okay, I need to crumble some biscuit, so I'm gonna grab one Oreo and okay, it's half an Oreo and just kind of like crush it here. Okay, and then um I don't know it says bourbon biscuits, but it's just it's just chocolate biscuits. It says use half a pack. I don't know how much how big the half a pack is. I'm just gonna crumble to what I feel like is okay, so I'm gonna grab like so maybe three. Okay, one just went in there. I'm just gonna use the spatula and mix it, like fold it. <laughs> this is so messy. I'm gonna line a baking tin, which is right next to you, right here, right here, do you I'm using this massive thing because we don't have any smaller ones because my aunt made food for my cousin and they took the thingy. <laughs> that was useless. Okay. Pouring it in. This thing is way too big, but do you know what? We're gonna make it work. Okay, next we continue crumbling. So we're gonna crumble the biscuits. This doesn't need to be as 
you know. Okay, the last Oreo in this pack. These are going to be bigger chunks. I'm going to put this in the oven. I think it's just for 30 minutes, but I'm just going to set the timer. Um, I'm going to make some dinner, and I'll see you again when this thing comes out. Oh, when I'm eating dinner. I'm eating dinner. It's the coconut coriander lime rice leftover. Finally finished it. It's delicious though, so I don't mind eating it. And mango! That's so happy! My favorite type of mango, M Manila. Girl, it's bomb, especially with this combo like coconut because it's like creamy, and then the lime, so the spicy and the zest, and then the sweetness from the mango is just bomb! I'm just watching um, Mexican slang with these guys, um, Eva Longoria and Michael Miguel Peña, something like that. It's just funny, <laughs> like watching these videos. I'm, I'm running out of stuff to watch and I'm not really like a, let me put Netflix on. I, I finished Working Moms the other day and I cried at the finale, so I highly recommend if you don't watch Working Moms, it's very true to like, you know, reality like very real very raw shows the ups and downs the tough side of being a mom like you know the funny bits the stressful bits that you're like what the fuck am i doing bit like yeah i like it i like series highly recommend um yeah i might put a series on or something like that but it's just i don't know man i don't know guys i had a snack accident are you still mad at me for saying snack accident the oven um, kind of like falls, the heat comes out of here and it heated all the butter up and now it's all... I don't know what I'm going to do, frankly, but we have a bit of a mess. On the other hand, the brownie's out. Um, I feel like it's crumbling a little bit, maybe it could have used a little bit more of a solid in there, I don't know why. It's a bit crumbly, I don't know how to fix that. But there it is. I'm gonna make myself a tea and have that. I can't wait to have a proper bite out of it. Oh my god. I just tried it and it tastes good. The taste is good. It's bomb. But I do feel like it's a little bit on the dry side because it's crumbly. I don't know if that means it requires more milk. I don't know, but it is crumbling a bit. Sorry, my, 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 my dress is going all the way up. But you can't see my panties, so I'm not flashing you. Um, but it tastes good, although I'm a bit sad <laughs> it crumbled. This is the first time that this has happened to me. I've never had something crumble like this before. <laughs> but yeah, it happens sometimes. I think I just need more milk. Yeah, I'm just getting the crumbly bits everywhere, and I just cleaned the fucking hand. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, you know, do this and, like, have the taste test, but I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Um, I'm just gonna eat it. I'm watching Katie's and Zones. Must be nice, and it's, it's a podcast. I also listen to it like while I'm washing the dishes or doing something else. That you know, I like to play. Um, I like to play music or YouTube video or Netflix or anything on the background while I'm doing stuff. It makes me concentrate a lot more, and my mind's not wandering because it's like my brain's concentrated. Okay, you need to wash the dishes. You need to do this, and at the same time, it's listening on the other thing. I multitask. And if my brain, my brain's used to multitasking, and if I don't multitask, what it tends to do is that it starts overthinking and thinking about other stuff that I shouldn't be. And yeah, so that's, it's like, okay, there's nothing playing, there's nothing for me to focus on, so let me just multitask and do this too. And I'm just here like, I don't know why my brain can't like, you know, just do the dishes without thinking of stuff and worrying and getting anxious. So I, that's like one of my fixes. I don't know if it'll work for you, but... That's what helps me. The battery's flashing. So I'm literally just going to eat this, have my tea, and go to bed ASAP. Because I'm trying to go to bed at 11.30 so I wake up early, do my workout, and then film a video and do the rest of my things of the day. Because if I don't get enough sleep, guys... So yeah, without ranting any further, I'm going to just leave the vlog here. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Before I forget, I'm literally racing against the battery right now. So I'm going to have this, my tea, go to bed. Thank you so much for watching, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, 
and I'll see you tomorrow with a new vlog. Bye!